Hey guys, welcome to another Arma 3 video. And in this one, I want to talk about uh, GPU or CPU bottlenecking. Okay, now, there's a great video by Linus. I'll probably put it in the description so you guys can check that out. Okay. And, and in that video, he talks about how your GPU can be um, bottlenecked by your CPU. And to just explain that really simply, is uh, just imagine the CPU feeding the GPU information, okay? Or like uh, if the GPU is a big, huge tank, uh, water tank, the uh, CPU is the hose that's feeding into it. And it could be that CPU can be a hose, a pipe, a huge pipeline, and the more water that the CPU can push into that into the GPU uh, water container, the the more the uh, GPU can process. Okay, and what happens is if you have like a little, little tiny garden hose and, and you're trying to feed a huge water tank GPU, uh, it's not going to work. And to demonstrate that, he actually runs some tests with uh, with FPS versus GPU usage. On the upper left hand corner, if I uh, pause it for a sec, you can see my GPU usage is 99%, basically 100% right now, and my frames per second is 53. So that means at 53 frames per second. I'm able to have a huge amount of water going into my GPU and it's being utilized fully. Now in order to demonstrate bottlenecking I'm going to uh, use a frame rate limiter to purposefully lower my frame rate so that you can see that the usage will in fact uh, drop. Okay so now I went in and I lowered my frame rate to 40 frames per second as you can see on the upper right hand corner or left hand corner. You can see the GPU usage dropped down to 75 percent. I'll continue this down to 20 frames per second. Okay so now at 20 frames per second you can see the GPU usage is only at riding at 33 percent. And so what that tells you is as I restrict the frames per second as I constrain it then my GPU usage will also drop. Now the ideal setting that I found for Arma at least in this situation was about 53 frames per second. Uh, to give it a hundred percent utilization. So pretty much let's round that up to if you can get 60 frames per second in Arma you're probably going to be utilizing a hundred percent of your GPU. Okay and I am running a 660 Ti. This applies uh, to any video card really. If it's not getting enough information from the CPU it's going to be bottlenecked. Alright so now I unlock the uh, frames per second and you can see we're getting 55 uh, frames per second and the GPU usage is riding right at 99. That means your GPU is maxed out. It's being utilized to the full extent. And we can also bottleneck the GPU a different way and that's by your graphic settings. I don't know if, if you've checked out forums or other videos you can hear people say don't turn your shadows to, to low because it'll actually um, decrease your, your frames per second or under utilize your GPU. And that's true. I'll demonstrate that now. Let's go into configure, go into video and First thing we'll do is we will lower the uh, shadows to, let's just disable them. And you can see, well, actually that didn't affect it much. Let's see here. Put it into configure, video. Let's put them on low. I think that's kind of where it transfers over to CPU. No, it's still not affecting it. Okay. Um, let's try something more drastic. Disabling uh, anti-aliasing. You can see a small drop there to 96%. And let's go ahead and totally disable uh, anisotropic filtering. You can see that it brought it down. Now, not by much. So the the setting of your uh, of these two settings they don't really affect your FPS too much. But you can see it does lower your usage. So there's not a whole lot of point in not keeping these maxed out unless you feel your GPU is being overloaded. To make this more drastic I lowered the FPS to 30 frames per second as you can see here. I'm only utilizing about 60 percent of the GPU. So we'll go ahead and try this again. Go into video, go into shadow and I'll disable it. You can see the drop from 57 percent down to 45 percent. And if I bring it back up to ultra now back up to 57 percent. So this really makes a difference at the lower frame rates where you want to use as much of your GPU as you can. Let's say you're only getting 30 frames 
there's no point in taking off shadows because that's not affecting uh, that's not really going to affect your frame rate. It's it's all GPU based. Let's do the same thing with anti-aliasing down to forty percent. So I'm still getting thirty. You can see the frame rate hasn't changed, and the reason for that is that Arma is largely CPU driven when it comes to frame rate. Um, and then I'll go ahead and disable the uh, anisotropic filtering. And we didn't really notice much of a difference there, but certainly with this. So if you're getting thirty frames per second you're not going to get more frames by disabling this stuff. Um, let's go ahead and bring this back up to 8 and back up to Ultra. So now I'm back to 57% utilization. Let's try something a little bit different as well. Um, let's try changing the terrain, the texture from Ultra to Low and see what happens. And again, not much of a difference. So let's change the objects to Low. Not much of a difference at all. Terrain to low. Let's go ahead and change everything over to low. Oh, that affected it. Okay, so you can see here that none of these changes really made any difference when it came to frames per second. Well, you're saying that's because I had the frames locked at 30. But let's do this. Now my frames are unlocked, 75 frames per second. Let's go Ultra. No change there. Let's go Ultra. No change there. Let's go Ultra. Oh, a little bit of a change there in terrain. Most people run this at standard. Not too much of a change. Still 75 at standard. Uh, ultra high in here. Oh, that did affect frame rates. And that... that Take us down to uh, 60 frames per second. Let's go standard. And let's go disabled. Now they gave us a nice boost disabling shadows. So that, that does affect it. Uh, let's go high on particles. I doubt we'll see a, a difference in that right now. Let's go ultra on clouds. Uh, it's not really going to affect it. There's no clouds in the sky. Uh, and then HDR low. Still 75 dynamic lights. Okay, so the one thing that really affected it was the shadows. You can see we got a drop from 75 down to 68 there. About standard. About 5, five FPS drop. Let's go low. Low actually reduced it further. Now that's the interesting phenomenon. If you go standard, you actually get a bigger FPS boost. And if you go low, it'll actually kill your FPS. So I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go high if you're struggling with frames. I would just go standard. And then completely disabled. I get a five five uh, frame rate boost there. So shadow certainly affects it. Um, and I think the other thing was texture. Low texture actually made us drop in, in frames per second. That's interesting. Let's go ultra. Hmm. Let's go low on objects. Little gain there. A little bit of a gain there. So all in all, these changes don't make too much of a difference except for shadow. Um, and the anti-aliasing doesn't make a difference at all. Let's try disabling ambient inclusion gives us about three frames a second actually a little bit more than that 72 went down to 64 actually that's a 10 frames a second increase that's significant uh, so, so I'm just letting you kind of make your own determinations on this video and see what works but the main takeaway and I sorry I kind of rambled on there for a second is that your your CPU feeds the GPU and you know you can tweak this all day long and it's not going to make drastic changes except for that that shadow thing it seemed like it had a drastic effect maybe the uh, texture had somewhat of a drastic effect as well um, but for the most part your hardware is going to determine your frame rate in Arma if you have a good uh, C Intel CPU um, or a, I don't know maybe a high-end AMD um, but certainly I, I, I'm my preference is Intel, 
just from my personal experience switching over recently from the AMD 960T over to the Intel. Um, the bottom line is that your hardware is going to determine your frame rate and if your CPU isn't good enough it's not going to feed your, your GPU and, and the GPU is not going to do its job. So you want to make sure that this GPU is being maxed out. Um, the, and understand I had the same video card in my my old system which was an AMD uh, G, uh, CPU and it just did not it did not feed the GPU enough information. Uh, you can get a couple of tools. This one is uh, an EVGA Precision X. It's a the 4.21 version, which actually can give you a display. It comes with Riva Tuner. So a, a little bit of a hassle to set up, but you can figure it out. Uh, and then there's a GPU monitor gadget that you can run on your desktop, and that'll tell you your GPU usage. But you want to make sure this is, this is being maxed out. Um, so I hope that helps you guys, and enjoy your ARMIC experience. Talk to you guys later.